eight out of the 10 leading causes of death are related to high or dysregulated blood sugar. If you're hearing that fact for the first time, that may sound shocking. Of the 3.3 million people who died in the US in 2020, these eight causes of death cause over half of them and blood sugar has something to do with it. The first is cardiovascular disease. What does blood sugar have to do with this? Well, high blood sugar caused by diabetes triggers certain signaling pathways that induce oxidative stress. This leads to inflammation, which deteriorates the inner lining of blood vessels. Eventually, plaque begins to build up inside the blood vessels and causes them to harden and narrow, leaving those experiencing elevated blood sugar at an increased risk for a cardiovascular event. The second cause of death, cancer. Epidemiological evidence shows a higher risk of several types of cancer, including breast and prostate cancer, in people who experience elevated blood sugar. There's actually a really good article that explores the link between cancer and metabolic health. I'll link it in the description for you. Let's move on to the third cause of death, stroke. It's been shown that elevated blood glucose commonly accompanies a stroke. In fact, a recent study found that people with pre-diabetic fasting glucose levels had a 60% higher stroke risk than people with normal glucose. Okay, next up for discussion are chronic lower respiratory diseases, more specifically COPD. This is a progressive inflammatory condition that damages the lungs and makes breathing more difficult. So what's the connection to glucose? Well, in 2018, researchers discovered that COPD patients had much higher glucose levels in their airways, potentially because inflammation increases leakage across the airway epithelium, allowing glucose to filter in from the blood. The higher one's level of blood sugar, the more glucose is available to seep through the epithelium, which is theorized to fuel bacteria and increase risk of infection. The fifth, Alzheimer's disease. Not only does diabetes increase the risk for cognitive decline, but even prediabetes is a risk factor for all types of dementia. There's actually another really good blog article that discusses the link between metabolic health and cognitive decline, also linked in the description of this video. The sixth cause of death we'll discuss is diabetes. Of course, this has everything to do with your blood sugar levels. According to the CDC, as of 2020, more than 34 million people in the US had a form of diabetes. If the disease isn't managed well, not only is your body unable to get the energy it needs, the excess glucose builds up in your bloodstream, causing all kinds of damage. In addition, as previously mentioned, health issues associated with diabetes can lead to many other diseases also mentioned in this video. Next on this list is influenza or pneumonia. High blood sugar levels can actually interfere with the body's natural immune response and hamper its ability to fight off infections. And lastly, kidney disease. The kidneys play a vital role in the circulation of glucose in the body, and when blood sugar is chronically elevated, it perpetuates a vicious cycle that results in the kidneys becoming overworked. When the kidneys are overworked, they can become damaged, make it harder for them to function properly, cause waste to accumulate, and eventually lead to kidney failure. So there you have it, eight of the top 10 causes of death in this country, and a little bit about how elevated blood sugar contributes to them. This is not to suggest that blood sugar control is the end all be all of disease prevention, but it is evident that maintaining stable glucose within a healthy range is a strong lever to pull if living a disease free life is a priority to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.